Now we're going to nine found. Great. A Duchess's Diamonds. On a train speeding north, home wants only restful vacation. Doctor's orders, of course. That is, until a stolen fortune bound for the Queen herself gives the great detective that sort of holiday Dr. Watson did not recommend. Mr. Holmes, I'm Inspector Quint of Scotland Yard. When I heard you're on board this train, I thank the heavens. A matter of some urgency and delicacy is at hand. Inspector Quint, I'm on my way to Edinburgh because Dr. Watson insisted that I need a restful journey outside the stresses of London. Of course, he is mistaken, but one cannot argue with one's doctor. Holmes, I protest. But Mr. Holmes, the Duchess of Marsbury is on board. She and her entourage and attendants are on their way to Balmoral Castle, at the invitation of Queen Vic herself. And this concerns me in what way? As a gift for the Queen, the Duchess brought a veritable pirate's treasure and cut diamonds. Now the diamonds are gone. My men and I have searched every inch of this train, but bugger all if we can find where the diamonds are or who took them. At last, despite the good doctor's prescriptions, my holiday has now begun. Please do show me to the scene of the crime, Inspector. <laughs> he thinks he thinks of this as being a vacation. Okay. Um. Thirteen clues left. Wow. Nothing seems. To, yep. There's one. That pistol belongs to Sir Osmond Darling. He has unsuccessfully wooed the Duchess these past six months and rushed into her defense the instant she shouted that the diamonds were gone. Apparently, it was right outside her door. Oh my gosh, more playing cards. It's getting a little easier to find these playing cards considering they're in every single one. Inspector, I see you've even hunted for secret cubby holes hidden in the walls. Very thorough work. The remains of several cigars, all the same brand it appears. Drag the pieces of the charred cigar bands into the outline to discover their source. Looks like India. Calcutta, India, I think. Right? Yep. The distinctive cigar wrapper is imported only from the southeast quarter of Calcutta. To whom does it belong? That would be Colonel Hannibal Krim, the Duchess's oldest friend and wartime compatriot of her late husband. There's the... Oh, I thought that was the other card. Bummer. One of two keys. Broken glass. There's the other one. The steward, a clumsy oaf of man named Harry Paddock, Breaks more crystal and glassware than a bowl in a tea shop. That's the fifth glass so far. I've ordered him to clean this up forth forthwith and dump the debris in the rubbish bin with the rest of the broken glass. One of two binoculars. Okay. Oh, there's my pipe. It looks like playing cards. Oi! It's getting rough. Okay, so oh, there's binoculars. Those binoculars are the property of Sir Cecil Anthony Melchette, the famous bird watcher who was traveling with the Duchess. When I searched his pockets, he told me that the ruby-throated warbler is most spectacular this time of year. Okay. Okay, so apparently I need a key. A key is still left, and a playing card is still left. But where? Is that a key? No. No, not a key in there. That'd be a clever. Oh, there's the card. This playing card must be from Lady Penelope Elcher, and she has been teaching the Duchess the latest card games for society ladies. It's odd, as Lady Penelope and the Duchess had a terrible falling out recently. I just need to find one more key. I think I'll use a hint, just because this key... I'm not seeing right off the top of my head. I'm looking for it. 
Let's go for a hint. Where, oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, I didn't even see that. Duchess displays her values at all times. She refused to secure the diamonds in the strong box I bought for that purpose. Yay, continue. Okay, two bottles of wine. Oh, binoculars, do I need those? Oh, three wine glasses. There's one. Cigars, cigar, metal, another metal. Oh, I saw a metal. Okay, cigar right there. Ooh, that's, it just has a name on it, so I knew that had to be right. Some newspapers, another handkerchief, cigar. No, don't stop, I was on a roll. There's my pipe, there's my hat. Um, there it is. Ha, ah, found it. More time metal again. Oh, another metal. Got it. Some wine glasses. No hat? Okay. Oh, there's a bottle. Bottle of wine, bottle of brandy. Should be this one right here. Inspector, no brandy drinking gentleman ever travels with only a single glass. One of the kernels is missing. Got it. No. You know, that would have been clever. There it is. There's a bottle of wine. Oh, that's a gun. It should be important. Oh, there's that. Oh, whoops. I meant to... Nope, not that one either. I meant to kill the newspaper. Alright, Elliot Broadbent, the colonel's valet, tells me that after the colonel finishes his third glass of wine, he blacks out and cannot remember a thing that has occurred. Those are copies of the Manchester Guardian newspaper. One of the, their journalists, so Mr. Graham Atkinson, is interviewing the colonel about his soldiering days. Something about a scandal among the ranks, I hear. So, another handkerchief. I suspect those handkerchiefs belong to the Duchess's traveling companion, Dame Gabrielle Richards. She is on, shall we say, personal terms with the colonel. Rumor is that her debts would stack taller than Big Pen. Okay, now it's to find that elusive last cigar. There it is. Boom. Got it. That was quick. Yep. 138 in that room. Who occupies the room next door? The maid servants. Don't think they haven't had a difficult day already. Eight clues left. Great. Not even that many. Okay, let's not block out a lot of the screen. Let's go for... There's glasses there, glasses there. The spectacles belong to the Duchess' kitchen maid, Jocelyn Cooker. She shouldn't be without them. She's blind as a bat. Scissors, I figured those don't belong there. Um, the dress. Let's see, what else doesn't belong here? Nothing there? A washboard? No? Huh. Oh, scissors right there. Oh, I found something. My pipe. Always helpful. Oh, there's a brush. 